Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, out on another walk. And in fact, this is part two of my walk at the RSPB um, with Simon and Sharon. And here they are. Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, again. Again, this is part two. And we are, where, what, where is this uh, RSPB based? Well, it's in Sandy in Bedfordshire. Oh, yes, that's right, um, Bedfordshire. It's we the headquarters of the RSPB. Oh, yes, that's right. So I should have yeah. remembered that. Because there's lots of other, if you said the RSPB, there's all sorts of yes. reserves and things everywhere. But this is the lodge at Sandy. This is, is the lodge at Sandy. Where and, it all happens. And actually, if you look at the soil, it is quite sandy. I don't yeah. know if that's how Sandy gets its name, <laughs> but so, uh, yeah. she's a nice girl. Yeah. So if you haven't seen part one, check that out because it's very exciting. It's uber exciting to use um, the... Uh, term of the young people you could uh, <laughs> zhizh it up a bit <laughs> yeah you could do <laughs> yes that would be nice that would be good um we're passing some little ponds here now uh, Sharon, you have some information about these ponds i have a teeny weeny bit of information is that they're more than i have for natter jack toads natter jack toads yeah they've done quite a lot of work here at sandy to um increase the numbers of natter jack toads they're quite rare in the country so if I go um, rummaging around in the ponds, would I find them? No idea. Oh. But I guess the idea is that you would, but I don't know whether they would be here yet. Oh, Especially see. with the, the way the weather's been. I don't know whether it's been warm enough. For they don't, are they, they're not so habitual creatures of one place then? They move about, do they? Yeah, that toads sort of like go off and hide in damp undergrowth and things like that and then come to ponds to um, do their business, you know, do a little bit of thanky banky. I see. And make all the spawn and stuff and well and, that's my and know, regenerate i'm not an uh, expert no nut hatch trail that's where we're going and simon was just telling me that this used to, used to all be fenced off is that right yeah this area was all fenced off you can see here this is an old uh, gate post and i don't know why they've opened it up but this is all the fencing has been removed the goat gate posts have, the gates have been removed and it's much more open now. I'm not sure what the theory is, but it's it's much nicer. And elsewhere, there's a lots of the fencing and gates have been removed, so it's much easier to walk around. You know, much more open and relaxed and more natural looking. This is lovely walking through here, um, especially today. It's such a fantastic day. Got all the sun coming through the trees and the greens and the blues. It's beautiful. It's, and, uh, it's, and this is open to the public, isn't it? So they can come. I mean, we've been lucky today, not seeing very many people. But yeah, it's a quiet day today. Um, when we come at the weekend, it's a bit busier. But um, today is really lovely. We're lucky to be out more or less on our own. It is um, an unspoilt, um, an unspoilt beauty spot. It is. Yeah. I mean, the RSPB do a great job looking after it. I mean, this is their flagship reserve. Lots of visitors come here. Um, it's, it's not one of their more wild reserves on the coast where you might see more birds but this is more sort of accessible for uh, a lot of people they come here and you know, they can see a few robins we saw a, a hobby didn't we flying along rabbits you know easily accessible natural natural animals and birds it's lovely stairs we've got in front of us now we're going to climb up these stairs and we're going to go and have a look at a, an old quarry or the, the leftover of the quarry Oh, lovely! A puffin, oh. a sand quarry, I'm assuming, because sand of the quarry, yes. the nature of the uh, yeah, I think that's the soil here. Exactly, and the name and the, the the green sand geology here. Is this a green sand belt? It is, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what they used to use the sandstone for building, I guess, but uh, right. They, this is a derelict quarry now, but it's it looks very pretty. It's all overgrown, and we'll we'll have a proper look in a minute. You said that the RSP beat. Um, had been here really from the 60s, is that right? Yeah, the, um, they, they bought this place in the 60s. They were based in London uh, before that. Uh, an interesting fact I found out today is that before the person who was going to buy this estate, if you like, was Princess Margaret. Oh, golly. Back in the early 60s, but because there's a natural uh, a public footpath through the centre of it, they thought there would be a security risk, so she decided not to buy it, and then the RSPB jumped on it. Jumped in, and they've been here ever since. We'll see the house uh, or the lodge shortly, where the offices are, and we'll see that it's been extended because more and more staff taken on. Lots more, lots more people interested in conservation, birds, being in the outdoors, and ecology, and all those things. So 
more power to their elbow really yes we can start to see some strata there oh, of the yeah. of the uh, stones but I'm guessing we must be pretty close to the quarry then yeah it's about uh, 30 seconds up here 30 seconds let's make that a make bit quicker up. shall we let's chase up to to Sharon <laughs> there she is oh, I'm going to go and, oh wow wow look at that here we go definitely see that this is an old quarry yeah that looks fantastic Simon it is, yeah, it's nice. in the winter it's easier to see what's going on because of less this, trees less trees think. and stuff but it's still oh. nice to see we can go down to that there's a new viewing platform down there we can just have a wumble down there if we like and is that a bit of a pond at the bottom I can see I'm not sure actually there's some wet is that wet stuff or is that just my eyes oh it's shadow it's shadow, it's shadow yes. yes I've only got the one eye you see really? wow look at that so how long do you think that tree is going to last on that corner look at the oh yes that does look as though it's uh, going to give way soon doesn't it I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera but right let's go let's go <laughs> see you Simon yeah bye <laughs> just climbing up uh, the other side of the valley that we were climbing up before and uh, we're going to see a view in a second a terrific view but have a look at this first of all this old tree here that's unfortunately died it just looks absolutely amazing with its uh, spewing out branches which is wonderful to see but but I want to take you quickly the others are waiting for me um, into the chestnut trees here know the chestnut because on the ground ouch <laughs> they're still spiky on the ground plenty of uh, chestnut um, the, the husk with the spikes but look at this this old chestnut tree I know Julia would love to have seen this this is an amazing tree great big bowl chestnut tree as I said that <laughs> dis defigured into some weird shape it's going to come around here look at that isn't that incredible just the base I mean the rest of it is pretty startling I'll just move back so we can get oops I've just um, fallen I just tripped you didn't see it but I just tripped and I've fallen down a little hole anyway uh, try and get myself up <laughs> oh, I tripped on on that great big bump anyway let's have a look at the tree again come back through here and here it is look at this absolutely amazing and the other thing let's come round here the other thing I wanted to show you oh, come back underneath there is see how you've got this uh, horizontal branch and then here you've got you've got branches growing upright from the tree and this one is an even bigger one going up absolutely amazing going right up there that's terrific anyway uh, they're waiting for me you missed that I just I just fell over uh, no, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, so anyway look Ta -da. wow look at that view that's quite a view isn't it we are up a hill we are finally decided we're up a hill yeah, yeah that is amazing and we can see I don't know if you can pick them out there are some um, windmills well I say windmills wind farm wind farm mills mm. well Simon's ahead of me um, we have now come into the ornamental gardens here haven't we Simon yeah this is the uh, manicured lawns and organized garden of the lodge and ahead of us which is ahead of us the main building that's called the lodge which is the headquarters wow look at that what a beautiful building do you know when it was built I don't I'm afraid no it's it's sort of a mock isn't it do you think yeah. it's not real it's made of brick there yeah so it's kind of got mock uh, it's Tudor nice effect though, it? nice, oh it's absolutely nice lovely all those chimneys yeah and the uh, mullion windows yeah been in there a few times it's nice and creaky floors inside you know old internal wall uh, 
wood panelled walls, all that kind of thing. Well, it's, this is this is the business here. It's and not so, a bad for for a working place, is it? That is an office building in there. Effectively. Yeah. Imagine the view if you got one of these nice windows up here. This is look. the was a swimming pool. It was a swimming pool. Yeah. Heavens! Yeah. Look at that. It's amazing. It's a yeah. Imagine it as a swimming pool. It would be. I wonder if one can go for a quick swim. Probably not. I've had a, a very lovely afternoon, Simon it's and been, Sharon. It's been fantastic, hasn't it? Thank you very much for bringing me to the RSPB, Correct. That's the headquarters, right. and yeah. uh, all that remains now is to jump in the plunge pool. Yeah, okay, and the fish you. are coming for you, Richard. So oh, maybe oh, yeah. Not. No, <laughs> I don't like fish. No. No. So join uh, me again. We're going to do some more walks over the next couple of days, aren't we? We certainly are. Mm -hmm. There's sorts of things planned. So join us on one of those. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Thank you, Richard. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs>